Hello everybody, this is Hussein from The British English. Welcome back to this channel. Today I'll be talking about a word that can help you so much in improving your speaking skill. We're all, as students, learners of English, looking for a way or a strategy how to improve our speaking skill, right? Today I'm going to give you one word that can really be helpful for you to improve that skill that you are working on. And this word is can. Right, can is one of the modal verbs in English and can is one of the most important words or modal verbs in English that could be helpful for you to improve speaking skill and even sometimes the writing skill. It depends. The word can can be used in many different situations and many different contexts. All you need to do is just know how, when and where to use this word. In this case, you're going to have advanced English, honestly. In this lesson, I'll be talking about three points. The first one is the forms of can, structures of can. The second one is the pronunciation of can in the sentence that you are using. The third one is the uses of can, where we use can, the usages in general. Let's begin with the first point, the forms of can. The main form of can is the affirmative one. It's called affirmative. Now, in this case, it's not used with not, right? And it's not used in a question. It's the positive form or the affirmative form. For example, I can swim. I can swim. So this is the subject I and the modal verb can and swim is the main verb. So the modal verb can is a verb that can be used before another verb in a sentence to show an idea, to show you something different. Another form of can is the negative one. In the negative form, we're going to use not with can. It becomes cannot. But of course, we don't say cannot, we say can't. Americans say can't. So it depends on like what accent you're using, right? Whether can't or can't. Both are correct. The third form of can is the question form. In the question form, we use can at the very beginning of the question, before the subject, and of course, after the subject, we've got the main verb. For example, can you swim? Can you swim? The second point today in this video is the pronunciation of can. How do we see or how do we pronounce the word or the modal verb can? Look, if can comes inside the sentence after the subject, I mean before the main verb, it can be pronounced can. Look, I'm saying it can be pronounced can, can be can. I can swim. I can go. Can, can. So I'm saying can, I'm not saying can. We don't say I can go. No, I can go, right? Can, can, that's it. As for the negative form, we say can't. Again, can't. We don't say cannot. I mean, sometimes we say cannot. But in this case, we're going to emphasize the speech, right? It's kind of like I'm making it emphatic. That's the point. But the main consideration of can with not is can't, right? It's not cannot, it's can't. And again, that's for the British pronunciation. As for the American one, it's can't, right? Let's go to the third point today, which is uses of can. How do we use can and why we use it? Again, this word is really helpful in improving the speaking skill. Again, I mean that and I believe in this because sometimes when you think of a situation and you are speaking to somebody, you have to use the modal verb can. Why? Because you are going to show an idea. You're going to show somebody something. I mean, that thing is really swimming in your mind. And you need exactly to let it out. And this is the point of how we use can, how we manipulate or play with the word can or modal verb, I mean. So again, uses of can really make the language advanced, right? And this is exactly what like all of you as learners of English looking for, right? We can use can with permission. What's the meaning of permission? I mean, permission means when you give somebody the agreement or the consent to do something. 
for example, everybody can go. Everybody can go. It means I'm giving you the opportunity to go now. It's fine if you go, right? That's the point of like, or the meaning of permission. Can I leave now? Can I leave now? It means I'm asking for permission now. So it's the point of permission, but it's used in a question. Can I leave now? If you don't want somebody to do something, this is the point of prohibition. And prohibition is the opposite of permission, right? Prohibition means I'm not going to want you to do something. It means I'm disallowing you to do something. That's the point. You can't smoke here. You can't smoke here. You can't drive quickly. You can't drive quickly. If you are going to talk about ability and whether you are able to do something or unable to do something, you can use can. I can speak three languages. I can speak three languages. It means I'm able to speak three languages. Can you stand on your hands? Can you stand on your hands? Another use of can is the word possibility. When something is possible, you can use can. For example, I can visit you tomorrow because I don't have work. I can visit you tomorrow because I don't have work. We can use can with requests. When you ask somebody to do something for you. That's the meaning of a request. For example, that cake looks so good. Can I try it? That cake looks so good. Can I try it? Can I have your name, please? Can I have your name, please? In this case, again, request means to ask somebody to do something for you, right? And the opposite of this is offers. Offers. We can use can with offers. An offer means to give somebody something or to do something for somebody else, right? That's the opposite of a request. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can we do anything for you? Can we do anything for you? Sometimes we can use can with reproaches. Reproaches mean when you are criticizing somebody for not being successful or for doing something wrong or if they haven't done something expected. This one is used with questions specifically. For example, can't you stop making that noise? I'm trying to study. Can't you stop making that noise? I'm trying to study. Why can't you leave me alone? Why can't you leave me alone? This is the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Really, can, again, is one of the modal verbs that could be helpful for you to improve your speaking skill. It just needs some thinking, right, about it. You need to think about the situation and how you're going to convey the message to the other person, and that's called, in quotation marks, addressee. So if somebody is listening to you, you are speaking, you need to know exactly what to say and how to say it in a specific context. And that's the point of, like, manipulation of can, and how we use can, the forms of can. Before I stop the video, I need to tell you something. There are some common mistakes that learners of English commit when learning or when studying the modal verb can. One of them is using another modal verb with can. For example, I can must or I can should, meaning that if you want to say I can swim, you need to say I can swim, but not I can must swim. No. You can't say I can should swim. No way. Another common mistake learners of English commit when learning the modal verb can is using the modal verb can with don't, doesn't, or didn't. For example, I don't can swim. No. She doesn't can know. No. We say she can't know or she can't swim, but not she doesn't can swim. All right. Again, I'd like to remind you of subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button down there so that you can receive notifications of upcoming videos in the future. Again, please like the video and I'm just waiting for your 
messages, I'm waiting for your questions, things that are swimming and swifting in your mind. If you are thinking of something that you think it's difficult for you um, to learn or for example to master, please let me know, inform me in the comments below and try to like ask me things that are again swifting in your mind so that I can make videos about them in the future. And I'd be more than happy to do that actually. I'd be more than happy to do this. You just kind of like have to be patient uh, and just wait for the video until it's posted. That's it. See you.